Hey guys, I'm back in Hawaii for my grandfather's birthday. While I'm here, I want to get the genuine Hawaii experience, but I don't really have the balance for surfing. Uh, hiking is just shit with all the bugs everywhere. Fishing is something I want to do. So what I'm thinking is we build ourselves a machine to make us amazing at fishing with absolutely no skills whatsoever. What could go wrong? <laughs> Did I mention that I have absolutely fucking nothing here? Back where I make videos in California, I have a 3D printer, a CNC router, a shop full of any tool you could imagine. Here, we're gonna be using garbage and whatever I can find in my parents' garage. It's gonna be shit. What the fuck is up? This is my friend Maya. I called her over because we need a camera person. And also she has an actual engineering degree, so that might help. <laughs> there you go. Do you know what to do with that? What are we gonna do? Uh, is it like a fork and a knife where you have to hold the knife in the right hand? Even though you think you hold it in the left hand? What the fuck are you talking you know about? I, mean? I well, actually want no hands. Maybe something that reels the fish in for us. My small feminine fingers just can't. We're looking for any piece of trash that we can rip the motor out of to power the fishing pole. The more and more we go through it, the more grim the outcome really seems. There's a motor in here. This shines the car, the hood of your car. The record player? We've considered electric power, but have we considered gas power? This is my dad's old weed whacker. No. Just mix them together. We're trying to figure out how the engine works so we can attach it to the fishing rod. It looks like that is a Sharpie mark. You only have a bachelor's degree. And what do you have? <sighs> Hepatitis. How are we gonna know that this thing works if neither of us have fished? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Something like that. Gun. Right. Gun. We got the throttle attached. Now we have to figure out how the motor fits in. So turning this handle on a fishing pole is how you typically reel in fish. So what we need to do is take that shitty human powered handle and replace it with a fucking two horsepower weed whacker motor. The way we did this was by drilling in a drill bit through the motor, through the fishing axle, and snapping it off. So we need to mount this part to this part to keep this stationary yeah. while this spins. Something I need you guys to understand is that my parents aren't very big on construction. So if we're gonna find building materials, it's gonna come from, you guessed it, uh, garbage that we find around the house. Maybe we could take the wood from the cross and mount it with that. Shoot the fish. Shoot the fish, yes. I don't know why they keep an old microwave around, but it's mine now. So what do we do? That's a great question, Maya. Too bad I ignored you while we were filming this. We're harvesting microwave metal so that we can make a bracket that fixes the fishing reel to the motor. I watched an Alex Steele video once, and in it he like heat treated some metal to make it easier to manipulate. Microwave was a good choice because the metal's pretty sturdy, but it's also easy enough to bend and shape, which we're gonna need to do a lot of. See, the pole is gonna be kind of separate from the fishing reel slash motor combo. Right now the axle's attached, but the rest of the reel isn't fixed to anything. The metal we're getting ready is gonna become the bracket that holds it in place. Michael and I just spent the last 45 minutes bending this piece of microwave. Okay, but tell me that doesn't look like it didn't come from a microwave. It looks like it came from a microwave. Uh, perfect. That's sturdy. That's like, okay, ignore that. Now that I'm seeing it come together. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at it! Are you kidding me? I'm disgusted. Let's see if it actually runs. I'm scared for my life. Oh, is this protection? What are we, are we trying to protect what? Our fucking bodies. Oh, Loki, I see what you mean by yeah. how I can just fly. That's, good. That's better. I'm scared. <laughs> If this piece of microwave was not here. That's terrifying. I like was up at two in the morning, like in the middle of the driveway, hitting fucking microwave metal with a hammer. What kind of progress have we made with the fact that the reel shatters every time we turn on the motor? See how on this reel, it's got duct tape around the part that exploded last time. Perfect. On startup, you need to full throttle the thing. So my solution is two step part one, shatter guard, just in case. But the shatter guard's also going to hold a safety pin. It will hold it in place during startup, take it out for actual execution of fish. Fish ex execution has two meanings here. Fishing test? It looks nah. like we got a bite. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode! Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> 
Oh, the biggest one this season. Uh, you said we were going to a pond for fish. Yeah, kind of. In this area. Yeah. Oh, just go ahead. Come on. Go. Is this the pond? Yes, Maya, it's the pond. What? <laughs> it's just like I remember it. Hey, how's it going? Is you it hold it and you'll throw it in. Ah, don't explode. Let's huh? do it again. Do you really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> we caught a real fish. Did you see how fast it pulled the fucking fish in? We caught a fucking fish. What? It's tradition to throw back the first one, so. Be free, little one. Gamora, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got one! It might have fallen off but it might have also had so much power that it ripped through the fish's lip. Hello. What do you think of our fishing rod? We're, uh, we're engineers. Trying to just think of like better ways to fish. Just make sure yeah. you have a really strong line. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, it's about, it's it's up there in the sixes of pounds. Likely would you be to uh, take this fishing with yourself at some point. Uh, we're kind of product never. testing. Okay, <laughs> that, you got it. And how, Maya, how tired is your arm? Not at all. Not at all. Why? Because it's a gas-powered fucking fishing pole and you don't have to do shit. Except for, remember to put the safety pin in. Start it up. Press the oil bubble. Take the safety pin out or else the thing's going to explode. Turn it on its side so the gas tank is right side up. Cast the thing out because it's really fucking hard to cast out. But then your arm is like not tired. Sir, would you use this product uh, on your own fishing days? No, I can't wait for it to slice my carotid art. I think it'd be beneficial to see if locals would actually use something like this. Probably kind of product. Never. Absolutely. I think we need to find a Hawaii native. Maya and I are here at one of the local beaches on Maui. We're going to try and interact with some of the native fisher people. They're going to have insights that we just couldn't come up with ourselves. See if we can get valuable information from a fisherman. Excuse me, sir. You seem to be quite knowledgeable about fishing. Are you one of the locals here on the island? Yes. Yeah, I'm a local here. I got a revolutionary new fishing technology and I was wondering if you'd be interested in trying it out, testing it for me. I bought kind of a local peace offering is what I heard is one Heineken. Is that acceptable? No, yeah, this is good. This, this is my friend Maya. We built this new system. Ta -da! The idea behind this is your arms get really tired sometimes when you're fishing because you gotta reel the fish in. It's hard. Sometimes you catch a pretty big fish. So, attach a weed whacker motor to a fishing pole. Would you like to maybe give it a try? I'd really like to see how it works with the local of, uh, of Hawaii. Sure, fishing. I'll try it. So what do we have here? Shrimp. Oh, God. is that some like kind of ancient Hawaiian kind of like creature? Is that oh, like only found here? Yeah, I caught this. <laughs> <laughs> how much did Disney pay you to be in Moana? Um, I get that a lot. When did you catch those? Um, May 13th. That's okay, the engine is like completely waterproof. It's, it's not. We're facing a large challenge. You can't cast it far enough because it's a piece of shit. Then, you know, there's only one option. Ah, fuck! And that's to swim it out. You know the farthest we've seen it? Yeah. Just like double that, like, I don't know, what is that, like 50? I don't know, 15 hash? <laughs> I didn't really know, but just so that he thinks that I thought it was like that. So I look like I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? Kind of. Good job, Michael. You're doing great. We weren't getting a lot of action uh, back at the other beach, so we moved locations to maybe a more prime spot. So let's cast it out. Whoa. Whoa. Did you get something? <laughs> I think there's something on there. Yeah, we got something. Oh, whoa. Oh. oh, it's a big one! Golden Pomano! We don't even have those in Hawaii. That's crazy that we caught one here. 0.93 pounds. Oh my god. What do you think the country of origin is? I bet it's China. What happened? What do you mean a fish is previously frozen? Like you think it comes from like up north? Like uh, Antarctica kind? That's another name for China. Oh, <laughs> by the line. You know how like people... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you take the fucking picture? Oh, is it a picture? <laughs> Are we letting it go? Well, you know, it's tradition to always throw back like the first catch, so I'm just gonna let him go home with his family. Be free!
<laughs> At this point, I jumped into the water and started to drown myself because of how bad the video was. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm just, I'm just recording some voice lines. Anyways, have you ever heard of Honey? Honey is a super simple, this is a sponsorship, by the way. I opened it in like kind of a funny, haha, quirky, funny kind of way, but this is still a sponsor. Honey is a super simple free browser extension that sits on your computer and saves you money online. And Honey actually only takes two clicks to get. You go to joinhoney.com slash Reeves, click on add to Chrome or whatever browser you're using, get a little pop-up and then add it to your browser and you're done. Honey works on Best Buy, Domino's, GameStop, and over 30,000 other sites. I personally use it on a bunch of cheap Chinese electronics sites and I was gonna try and think of some fishing purchase to be cute about it, but it literally worked for me today as I was buying a hoodie on Teddy Fresh. So I picked up this sweater, I went to checkout, and I clicked apply coupons with Honey, and it saved me $10 with me having to do literally nothing. I think I've said this before, but my favorite part about Honey is the fact I don't have to do any work. It just pops up and saves me money online. So if you're interested in randomly saving money online, Honey is completely free. Just go to the link down in the description or go to joinhoney.com slash Reeves. Big thanks to Honey for sponsoring the channel. Ads like these help to support the channel and make it so I make less trash videos in the future. Oh, he wants to stay with us. <laughs> what is that one floating? What the? <laughs> it sank. It swam away. Oh, you can actually see the other one. Like straight up.